Hello and happy April. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Rochelle and this is Embracing Budgets where we embrace savings, budgeting, and planning for our future financially, okay? So this month in April, I will say happy Easter to everyone and happy, just happy April to everyone. Spring has sprung, folks. It is getting hot if you guys don't know and I don't think I've mentioned it um, before. I live in the state of Georgia and it's getting warm, to say the least. It's getting very, very, very warm. However, <laughs> with all that being said, we're going to jump on into our budgeting for the month of April. And I have a lot of things that I need to do financially, but you know what? I'm going to get it done, okay? <laughs> so, let's go on over to April. Alrighty. Okay, so... If you guys don't already know, I am a month ahead on my financial journey for uh, this year. So every month when I'm budgeting, the uh, pay uh, check amounts that you see here in the income section, that will be from the month of March and not in the month of April. I'm steadily uh, one month ahead um, as of right now. So when you go over to, let's just say the month of May, it'll be showing what I made in April and even when you go over to the month of June, it'll be showing what I've made in the month of May and so forth and so on. I go, um, I do my uh, my pay periods so and what I'm going to use in a month for every two paychecks, and that's how I stay a month ahead. I will be bringing out a video to show you guys how I have gotten a month ahead. I've been doing it for a few years now, and I continuously uh, stay minimum at least one month ahead. So. I will be bringing out that video show you guys how it's done because some people do it one way and some people do it another and it's all done correctly as long as you get to the end goal of being one month ahead okay <laughs> all right so for the month of march i made uh this is after i uh take out my um tithes and offering for my church and also for my auto savings my auto savings goes into my savings account automatically i just make sure that the money hit but i never look to see uh look to spend that money because i do have a savings account uh for the past few years that's just been building up and building up okay all right so after offerings and my saving um, ties and offering and my savings coming out i had a total of two thousand seven hundred thirty four dollars and seventy four cent now i do the uh zero out challenge and that amount was $14.74. Um, I do that from what I get paid on my payday, the day before my payday, and I also do it on the zero out for my bills account also. So, and also I didn't have to do it out for the last one because crazy enough, I was even out $0 on my bills account. It came out perfectly. And I was like, that's, that's a rarity. <laughs> that's a rarity, okay? Uh, so, um, I pay $395 in rent, uh, Georgia power. I had to move up this amount. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but last month I said I paid $80 even because I was ahead, um, on my, um, electric bill. Come to find out I was not paying ahead on my electric bill. I thought it was like $79 and some change and come to find out it's $81 and 18 cent, but I do have a credit on my account and like I said before I do want to keep that credit on my account and they just added another small credit onto my account so as of right now my account is uh, the credit on my account uh, was $34 let me just add this off to the side $34.54 okay now with the $82 I'm gonna be paying over so they will be adding an additional 82 cent now that's ironic <laughs> it'll be adding an additional 82 cent on to my account so for next month i will actually be uh 35 dollars 34 54 plus 0.82 cent i will actually be 35 dollars and 36 cents uh ahead next month i'm just gonna put this over here 35 36 
Yep. Okay. So I'm actually next month I'm going to be since I'm paying 82 this month, I'm going to be actually $35.36 ahead next month. Let me go ahead and make this little correction because I'm only paying $82 from here on out. And what happened with that, the reason why I got it wrong was because I forgot they add tax onto the renewal. So my renewal was like 80, I mean, sorry, 78 and some change, but they add tax. So it came up to 81.18. So I've been doing it wrong for a little while, but it's okay. I'm still, I still have a credit on my account, so I'm happy. <laughs> All right, so for Comcast for my phone bill, it's $45. My internet is $87.61. My car insurance, I was wrong on that one too. I thought it was uh, 44 and some change. Actually, it's 45 and some change. So I wanted to start putting accurate numbers on my budget so that I did not mess up. And I'm here. <laughs> so for my car insurance, is $145.64. I still have full coverage on my car note, even though... Even though um, I'm, my uh, car is paid off and it's fully mine, I own it, it's mine, okay? Um, let's see here. Let's see here, what am I missing? What am I missing? Am I... Oh, credit care. Okay, so I had to add a bill onto my account, um, um, into my budget this um, month. I actually uh, had some repair on my teeth done and I didn't have all of the money to have it uh, repaired so I had to take out a uh, credit account and that was like a total of seven hundred and ten dollars yeah it was like seven hundred and ten dollars no more than that um, but uh, I'm paying that back and it will be interest-free if I pay it back within a year so with that being said divided by 12 it's a little much, but it's like $59.16 a month. So basically $60 a month. I'm going to be paying as much as I can based on what my income is. So, and that changes from month to month, paycheck to paycheck. But I did, thank goodness, I did get an increase. I did get a, um, I did receive a, a uh, raise my annual raise, I did receive that from my job. So it shouldn't be that hard for me to actually pay this bill off within that year. So I will say that. Um, but I did pay $50.10. Yeah, it was $50.10. So I actually, oh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like $660, $660 left on that bill, okay? Um, let's see here. Capital One is $200 uh, the, for the credit limit of 6 k and the credit limit of 2 k If I'm not mistaken, I believe I owe 68 minimum. Usually I try to pay over, but I decided to put that money elsewhere because I do have my sister's wedding coming up. So, and I still have to do some things with the bachelorette party and the bridal shower. Okay. Um, let's see here. I ended up um paying this last bit on Amazon uh $20.44 I know last month I said I had paid it off however um I ended up buying something instead of them crediting the money back to my account they actually put it on my profile on my Amazon profile and not my Amazon card so but now the balance for that one is zero and that will be paid off in full. I did have my Chase card on here last month. I got a bonus for my job. And because of that bonus, I was able to pay off my Chase uh, credit card. So that was an extreme, extremely big blessing. I'm so happy about that. Um, I'm also subscribed, um, excuse me, I also canceled a subscription service because the program that was on the Paramount Plus that I wanted to see, the, uh, the actual show that was on there that I wanted to see, Criminal Minds, um, I have the mind of a criminal because I've been watching it since 2005. <laughs> um, that actually, um, I think it's um, on, on its break or whatever. So as of right now, I am holding off on that. I'll bring it back when the show comes back. So for my subscription services, we've got $51.46 for my subscription services. 
All right, and I put wedding present here, but as of right now, I'm gonna hold off on that and see what she actually um, wants. My sister that's getting married, I'll see what she wants, because as, as of right now, we still have to do the bridal and bachelorette parties, so there you go all right so total income for the month is two thousand seven hundred thirty four dollars and seventy four cent total amounts for expenses It comes to a total of 1907.08. Okay, which leaves a total for uh, cash envelopes. Cash envelopes will be eight cash envelopes, uh, singing funds, and what else? Oh, and savings challenges. I keep forgetting those. I don't know why. But that's the most fun part. $827.66. Okay. All right. Yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. Did I make sense with it? Yeah. All righty then. So, but I will say total for savings... I'm going to do 200 in groceries. I'm going to do 50 in gas. Actually, I'm going to do 60 in gas. And I'm also going to do 50 for eating out, dining out, which will remain, which will mean $517 will be available for sinking funds sinking funds and um savings challenges why do i always forget my savings challenges it's crazy anyway okay but there you go chances are i'm going to make it a nice round number and keep the 17 dollars inside of my account well 17 dollars and 66 cents inside of my account so there you go yeah okay awesomeness 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 okay so over here on this side, I have my goals um, for the month of April. Um, first goal, which is the most important goal truly, will be for me to file my taxes. I have not filed my taxes yet. I, in truth, have been dreading filing my taxes because usually I always owe, not uh, for federal, usually I always owe for state. Um, last year, I think I owed like $150 the year before that. I owed like 110 or something like that. So I'm always dreading filing my taxes, but we'll we'll see. Okay. Next we have the bridal and bachelorette shower for my sister. And then another goal were for it will be for me to have a low spend month. Um Usually people do the no spend month as of right now. That's um, pretty unbelievable for me to do because of the fact that I still have to put money towards the bridal and the bachelorette festivities. So as of right now, as of right now, um, yeah, I, I want to keep it a low spend month more than anything so and of course the first one will be for me to not use my credit cards um not overspend on groceries Um, meal prep. I need to meal prep more than anything because I am still on a weight loss journey. So meal prepping would be best for me to do. I 
and that's it i think that's it financially for me to do um yeah i think that's all for me to do as of right now just to get this done and that's that's pretty much it i need to meal prep so i need to create a meal menu if you will um lock my credit cards as many as i can lock and keep them locked and focus on um what i want to do for the rest of this year as far as financially i started out thinking a certain way this year and then my rent went up and then other things happened so my my goals have changed for the year okay okay but that is it that is all that is all for this uh monthly budget video guys if you think there's anything that i missed in the monthly in my monthly video as far as like some of the things maybe i should do because usually usually like last year i did not uh budget like this it was something totally different but i also wasn't um cash stuffing last year either i was using my debit card and that that made me overspend and just whip out that card way, way too much. So as of right now, I'm taking any suggestions that I truly can take that will keep me at least one month ahead and minimum one month ahead. I'm looking to get several months ahead because every year uh, since I've been getting my finances in order, I've been getting one month ahead on everything and it's been working out for me. However... I did have uh, two streams of income coming in as of right now. I only have this one, so I only have my one full-time job now. Okay, so I'm just so nervous, guys. I'm sorry. But yeah, as of right now, we are still one month ahead. We still have reserve in the bank. I still have a good savings account um, lined up, thank goodness. And yeah. Yeah, we're doing good. We're saving money and we're we're doing what we need to do. Okay, <laughs> but that is it. That is all for this video. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or um, any comments, please leave them down below in the description box. Again, my name is Rochelle and I am so happy that you guys have subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, my darlings. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video, which will be my monthly cash stuffing uh video and uh savings uh challenge video and sinking funds cash stuffing video i think that's it yeah that's it <laughs> i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>